Hey guys, today we are in Shibuya. Look at those ad. Yes, that's the ad for the Bojo Renewable. Somehow it is really popular in Japan. Is it good? I've never tried that. Firstly, let's go to the Shibuya crossing. In front of the Hachiko. Yes, exit number eight. That's a place that you wanna go. Number eight in Japanese, it's Hachi, Hachi. So it's super easy to remember for Japanese, but maybe not for someone who doesn't speak Japanese. Here we go. Yes, that's Hachiko. It was blocked during the Halloween, but now it's open. The dog's name called Hachiko. So that's why it's number eight. As you can see, there is a long line in front of Hachiko. It's like a Disneyland. In front of Hachiko, there is a travel information center. So if you have any question, you can ask it over here. As you can realize, people's clothes totally changes to your winter clothes now. It's November 15th. Today's highest temperature is 14 degrees, lowest temperature is 9 degrees. That window, 3 meters per second. Last week, it was pretty warm, but suddenly from this week, it became much cooler. <laughs> Some people don't feel that cool much though. <laughs> Look at that, the Mario Kart is back to Shibuya. We don't see that many as before though. All right, so let's keep walking. Seems like today, not that many people here. But the one big news, there was a Starbucks over there and it was the best view spot of Shibuya intersection, but it's closed now. They are renewing now. I'm not sure what will happen next. But uh, I will give you guys a travel situation update in the future too, so please look forward to it. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Oh, by the way, subscribe. hey guys, welcome to subscribe. Have a good one. So nice, guys. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan TV. I'm Ryan Seno Gan. All right, so let's keep walking. Let's go. So now we are at Main Street of Shibuya Basketball Street. In Japanese, call this place Sentagai, Sentagai. Today, we are planning to walk from Shibuya, Harajuku, and also Shinjuku. Hopefully, you can enjoy the video. In the street, there is IKEA. Before, they had the really cheap soft serve. I'm wondering what they have now. Oh, sweet. Seems like they have the Christmas pancake. Yep. The Christmas fair. Last time when I walked here, it was the Halloween night. There were so many people, but seems like today, not that many people, huh? To be honest, I was expecting more people in the street. We are at Don Quixote now. There is no line for the 10 yen blip neither. Oh, you know what? Since we are here, let's try the claw machine. Hopefully, I can get something good. Since we don't have Thanksgiving, the town's atmosphere becomes totally Christmas now. It says Japanese omiyage. <laughs> Look at that, it's so cute food stuff. And also, there is the steps for the kids. This one's cute too. Oh my goodness, look at this. This one is almost dropping, so probably I can get it super easily. Let's try it. One play, 100 Japanese yen. Yeah, let me get that black one. Yeah, it wouldn't be that hard. It's perfect, right? Can I get it? Oh, it's almost, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. The next one, I can get it. How is it? Yeah, it's perfect. Oh! Well, it's almost there. I don't want to quit it. Let me try it one more. Yeah, the next one will be the last point. <laughs> because I don't want to quit it. It's almost there, right? For sure, I can get it for the next one. If not, I give it up. How is it? It's perfect, isn't it? Can I? No. Never mind. <laughs> well, it's the claw machine magic. You know, if you buy it at the supermarket, it's cheaper than 300 Japanese yen, I believe. But uh, yeah, I can't not get it. It always happens, but uh, it's fun, you know. So 
I still love claw machine. So now let's go to check the Miyashita Park. Oh, look at that. Uh, that's something interesting. It's the Pokemon Curve vending machine. Price is 1,000 Japanese yen. The expensive one is 3,000 Japanese yen. <laughs> interesting. High deck vending machine. Now, front had the Pokemon collab now. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Pikachu. If you order one drink, you can get the card. If you order the one food, you can get the key holder. The restaurant Pront is a really popular chain restaurant cafe in Japan, so pretty much you can find it everywhere. Yeah. From the game center, just keep straight and you can find this street. This place used to be there are so many graffitis, but now no anymore. After passing the tunnel, there is the entrance of Miyashita Park. I believe not that many people in the park. Yeah, recently Japan's temperature suddenly gets cooler. So that many people don't get used to it with this coldness. Oh, there are many people practicing skateboard though. But no people playing bouldering. Hmm, not that many people here neither, huh? You know, it's like when you wake up in the winter morning, you don't feel like you don't want to wake up from the bed because it's too cold. Yeah, so I believe suddenly the weather gets cooler so that many people don't get used to it yet. They don't feel like they want to go out and play. That's what I believe. <laughs> Not sure. Anyways, <laughs> let's keep walking. Oh, do they change the restaurants? Oh my goodness, look at this salad. Looks pretty good, and also this burger as well. Interesting. Next time, I will try this cafe. Well, I wanted to try that restaurant, but today I want to try the premium mosque. So, it's my very first time. For going to Yoyogi Park, just keep straight, just cross the street, and turn left here. Keep straight, then turn right here. If you keep straight, you will get to Harajuku, but if you turn left here, then you will get to the Yoyogi Park. Here we go! We are almost there. Yep, that's Yoyogi Park. Seems like the tree is changing color, but not yet. Here, small Japanese lesson. Park in Japanese called Koen. Koen. Was it too easy? Alright, so the harder one. That fallen leaf called Ochiba. Ochiba. That's a difficult one. Autumn leaves called Koyo. Season of autumn leaves. Koyo no kisetsu. Koyo no kisetsu. Compared to usual year, this year was much warmer. So, not yet. Probably they will change the color end of November, I believe. Or Maybe mid of November. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait. It's already mid of November. So, yes, end of November. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep walking. We can just walk through this park and get to the Harajuku. We can't see much from here, but uh, yes, over there, that's Harajuku. Now we are at another part of Yoyogi Park. Usually, there are many events before crossing the park, and after crossing the park, become more peaceful atmosphere. I am planning to go into Shinjuku Gyoen too, but they close at 4 p.m. We still have 90 minutes, so should be fine. During the winter, some places close earlier. So if you are visiting Japan during the winter, make sure to check their operating time. Yeah, it might be changing. So this is the gate of Yoyogi Park. There is a gate but the uh, Yoyogi Park never closed, so don't worry about it if you are visiting here. When I was in the States, one thing that makes me really surprised is that there is a park operating hours. You know, during the night time, you can't enter the park. In Japan, you know, it, the park never closed, so when I hear about it, I was so surprised. Yeah, maybe because Japan is a super safe country, so that they don't have to close. Even in the nighttime park, you can drink alcohol and uh, it never closed. That's something different. 
Oh, by the way, that's Hachiko bus. The bus running around Shibuya. Price is only 100 Japanese yen. So if you are traveling around this area, that bus becomes really useful. Just remember the Hachiko bus. Oh, since we have time, why don't we go check the Meiji Jingu Shrine too? This shrine is really popular travel spot near Shibuya. If you visit around here, make sure to visit this place too. As you may realize, everyone is walking on the left side, right? It's kind of like Japan travel rule. When you walk in the crowded place, try to walk on the left side so that you can walk smoothly. Here. Inside the shrine, it's a big place. There are museums too. Those are the old sake barrel. By the way, barrel in Japanese called taru taru. So those are the sake daru, sake daru. Usually only sake, but this place, since it's a really special place, there is the wine as well. Ah, oh, interesting. Now they have the festival of Kurisanzaman. Most of the people recognize the sakura as the national flower in Japan, but this chrysanthemum is also the national flower in Japan. Beautiful. That's a really popular poet of Meiji Tenno. Chihaya furu kami no oshie wo uketsugishi. Hito no kokoro zo tada shikarikeru. There is popular anime in Japan, Chihaya furu. Yeah, that Chihaya furu is coming from that poet. Here we go, that's the place to wash your hand and the main shrine entrance. Here, much more people than what I thought. <laughs> so cute. Here we go, this is the main shrine. As you realize, that's the national flower, chrysanthemum. So many travelers. One thing you have to remember is that there is no photo of the main shrine for the respect. There is a guy holding the no camera policy board. So probably you will realize. But most of the shrine, you can't take a photo inside the main shrine. So you just remember it. Most of the shrine for respect. As you may realize, this lamp as well, also chrysanthemum. All right, let's go back to the entrance. Here we go. We came back to the entrance. Yes, that's also the chrysanthemum as well. From entrance to the main shrine, coming back to the entrance, takes 23 minutes. If you walk slowly, it would take longer. But probably, you know, about 35 to 45 minutes. I think that's enough. Unless if you want to go to the museum or, you know, the garden. All right, next, let's go to the Harajuku. After you get out from the shrine, just turn left and keep straight. Here, it's already Harajuku station. If you keep straight, you will find the old entrance of Harajuku. In front of this Harajuku entrance, that's Takeshita Street. <laughs> Many people taking photo. There is the monitor over there, so yeah. A kind of picture spot. Oh my goodness, the Takeshita Street touch more than what I thought. Wow, it's super crowded. But one thing that I realized is that the people walking on the street are kind of different compared to the regular season. This street is really popular from elementary school to the high school girls. But now most of them are travelers. Well, I think because of its weekday, but if you visit here during the weekend, it would be totally different though. <laughs> Wait, it's already 3.15. Can we make time for wandering? Anyways, let's keep walking. All right, that's the entrance of Takeshita Street. Well, let's keep walking. From here to Premium Walls, it takes 17 minutes, so should be okay. You see the tower in front of you? That's Dokomo Tower, symbol of Shinjuku. As I posted on my Instagram, recently I've been working out and also eating something healthy food as well. So this much walking, for me, that's like nothing. Yep, let's keep walking and keep working out. Oh, by the way, if you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account as well. It's seven minutes to go. We are faster than the Google pace. Anyways, let's keep walking. 
Once you go to the back street, it becomes really quiet. There are many residents as well. Yep, finally it's there! Sweet! Oh wait, the subway had something interesting too and looks pretty good. No, 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 no. We are here for the most premium. Let's get something from the most premium. Here we go. It's most burger premium wine. Compared to the regular most burger, it looks pretty fancy. And there are the terrace seats as well. Compared to regular menu items, they have something fancy. I don't think, you know, if we eat here, we can make time. So let's make it to go. Oh, the Wagyu, the garlic burger, or Wagyu, the spicy chili, chalipion sauce. I have no idea what it is. And avocado. Hmm. This garlic or the spicy one? Which one should I get? Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we don't have time. Yeah. It's okay. Let's get the chili one. Let's do it. So eventually, I ordered a premium Wagyu burger plus ice latte. Because of the lunch time, I could order it with cheaper price. The ice latte, 200 Japanese yen. However, if you eat inside here, it's free. So the <laughs> to-go menu, it's more expensive. Only the weekday lunch time though. By the way, inside the restaurant looks pretty fancy. Their lunch time is until 5 p.m. So that would be a good deal. Yes. <laughs> Premium. All right, sweet. Finally, we got it. Okay, so let's go. We have 15 minutes, so I think that's enough. Let's go. By the way, that's Olympic Stadium. That's how it looks like right now. And also in front of it, there is a Sendagaya station. From the Sendagaya station, just keep straight toward to this tunnel. And there is the entrance of Shinjuku Gyoen on your right side. Yes, this is the Sendagaya entrance. The last entrance time is 4 p.m. but uh, close at 4.30. Okay, let's go. We can walk through inside the park. Inside the park, it's huge and a really peaceful place. Entrance fee cost 500 Japanese yen, but I got the annual pass, which was 2000 Japanese yen. Let's find a place to eat. Uh, I think this place would be perfect. All right, let's see what we got here. That's the cafe latte. Look at that, it's like a gift box. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I see. Ready? Three, two, one, ta -da! So that's the chili sauce. And uh, those are the papers. Plus the fries. And the burger. Yes, it was really close, so still warm. What's inside? ハンバーガーを美味しく召し上がるためにハンバーガーのソースは別添えになっております。Oh, it says the burger sauce is separate. This is the one. Look at that! It's huge. So let's eat. いただきます。Without chili sauce, it's pretty good. Let me try with the chili sauce. <laughs> Maybe I place it too much, but it's okay, you know. More chili, more bitter. So, itadakimasu. Mm. Oh. The nice chili flavor. It says spicy, but not that spicy. It's a Japanese standard of spiciness. Hmm. So speaking of most burger, it is really popular burger restaurant in Japan. It's like you know McDonald's. <laughs> it's kind of noisy. So it's the burger fast food restaurants, 
but compared to McDonald's, it's a little bit more pricey and also they take time longer. However, it's more popular for the ladies compared to the McDonald's, even it's more expensive and it takes longer time. Thinking about the quality, most burger has more fresher. <laughs> Does it make sense? So some people really like it. If you love the first food burger, maybe you can try that. But uh, of course, it's still different compared to the restaurant burger, though. Hmm. How about the French fries? <laughs> Seems like nothing different. Hmm. But it's pretty good. <laughs> you know what? There is a big claw looking at my food. <laughs> Maybe he tried to steal my food. I'm not gonna give it to though. I am so happy that I could make the time. Right now it's 4.13. I'm planning to walk out from the Shinjuku exit. So it would take about, you know, 15 minutes. I need to finish this in 2 minutes. <laughs> you know, because I placed the chili sauce just too many. So it's already gone. <laughs> That's okay. Mm. Yep. It's almost time to close, so we gotta go. All right, let's go. By the way, do you guys hear the sound? Yes, that's a really popular piece for Japanese. So for us, this is the time to go home. I was born and raised in Osaka, Japan when I was in the elementary school. Whenever there is a time that we have to go home, we hear this music too. And uh, in the restaurants, in the places, everywhere. Do you guys have this kind of music in your country? If so, please let me know in the comment down below. So this is the map of Shinjuku Gyoen. We were from here, this Sendagaya. And uh, this is the gate we enter, and uh, we ate around here. And uh, we are right now over here. Shinjuku station is around here. So that's why I was planning to walk from here, just walking inside, 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 and uh, get out from there. <laughs> Still, there are so many people inside the park though. I wanted to show you guys how the Shinjuku Gyoen Park looks like right now. Because I was wondering if the tree color has changed or not. It seems like not yet, huh? Shinjuku Gyoen, this is my favorite park. I always come over here whenever I have time. Because it's the paid park. So compared to the regular park, there are fewer people and also well maintained. As long as you bought the annual pass, you can come over here anytime. Yeah, so if you are living in Japan, near Shinjuku, definitely recommend to get the annual pass here. Oh, that's chrysanthemum. It's this season, huh? Beautiful. I love the color of yellow. It's a huge park. Yes, that's the gate going to Shinjuku. Oh my goodness. Look at the sky, so beautiful. Here we go, that's Shinjuku gate. One thing you have to be careful is that uh, you can't bring the alcohol inside. So if you wanna drink, probably you wanna go to the different park because other park you can drink alcohol, but here, no. Here also, the art of chrysanthemum. All right, let's walk and explore Shinjuku. So here, we are over here. Technically, we are at the Shinjuku Sanchome Station, which is a different station compared to Shinjuku. But the Shinjuku Station to Shinjuku Sanchome Station, it's like five minutes walking distance. So technically, it's the same station. It's still before 5 p.m., but already sun is setting. During the winter time, the sunset time is really early. So if you are visiting here in Japan, you gotta be careful. We don't have the summer time, which is the daylight saving time. During the summer time, sunset time is like 7 p.m., sometimes 7.30. 
but uh, during the winter time it's like 4 30 so i know it sounds crazy but uh, that's how it is in Japan. So if you are traveling to Japan during the winter, yeah, just keep in your mind, always sunset time is changing. Finally, we came to the Shinjuku station, East Izuzid. It's in front of the cat display. If you are heading to Shinjuku Kabukicho and also wanna watch the cat display, Shinjuku East Exit. That's the way to go. <laughs> Seems like Cat is sleeping now. I'm wondering if he speaks or not. <laughs> they always change it, so it's really fun to watch. <laughs> Look at that. Now, two displays together. Alright, now let's walk to the Shinjuku Kabuki Cho. Oh my goodness, so many people here. Going to Shinjuku Kabuki Cho, it's really easy. Just walk the street in front of Shinjuku East exit, you will get to the Kabuki Cho. As you may realize, even this place too, the left side walking and the other side going back. Yep, can you see the gate in front of you? That's the entrance of Shinjuku Kabuki Cho. Speaking of Kabuki Cho, yes, it is a night town. However, this main street and also in front of the Kabuki Cho tower area, literally safer. Well, I mean, of course, much, much safer compared to other countries, but, uh, you know, it's the night town. So if you have a small kids, probably you want to avoid around here. What that Godzilla says? Gow. <laughs> Never mind. All right, let's keep walking. If you are with kids, just visit here during the daytime. Then the atmosphere totally different. Also, one thing you have to keep in your mind, this center street and the area of the left side, it's relatively safer. However, if you go to the right side of Kabukicho, the atmosphere is totally different. So I don't recommend to visit there. There are so many nightclubs and rice spots. So if you are visiting here, you know, just visit around the left side. So now we are heading to the Kabuki Cho Tower. And the left side of Toho Cinema Building, which is the west part of Shinjuku Kabuki Cho, there is the square. That's the Kabuki Cho Tower, and this is the Toyoko Square. Sometimes they have a food event here, but most of the time it's kind of like chaotic atmosphere. All right, let's explore inside the Kabuki Cho Tower. Let's go. Again, Kabuki Cho Toyoko area, it's kind of a chaotic atmosphere, especially in the nighttime. So if you are with kids, I don't really recommend to visit there. Yeah. But in the noon time, it's really fun place. Oh, look at that. Inside the Kabuki Cho Tower, yes. There is a matsuri place and also the stage as well. You can enjoy the food and the music. On the weekend, it becomes a really fun place. Not only here, but there is a second floor too. In the second floor, that's the game center and also the gachapon place. There are so many gachapons and also claw machines. This is the gachapon. You can only play it in here. The price is 500 Japanese yen. That's like a game. You can get the One Piece toy. By the way, I've never eaten in this Kabuki Cho Tower. Maybe next time we can try over there. Can we find some interesting claw machines? Let me see. There are so many small claw machines too. I love here. Oh, now they have the new VR ride, which is the Evangelion one. You can wear the 
We are Goku and the chair moves. One play, 1,000 Japanese yen. Also, there is some bar. You can just grab the drink and you can drink it over there. One bottle of beer is about 800 Japanese yen. So compared to the bar, it is kind of good price. What is this? Smart Gachapon. Eh? Oh, I see. So you can play it with the train IC card. After you paid it here, you can just play. Yeah, that's how it works. It's my first time to see. Very interesting. Finally, Japan is also changing the cashless economy too. Have <laughs> it. All right, now let's go to check West part of Shinjuku. From the exit of Kabukicho Tower, West Gate, keep straight, you will arrive to the Unica Vision place. This is one of the popular Shinjuku pictures spot. Yep, iconic corner in front of Unica Vision. Just keep straight, then we get to the west part of Shinjuku. Over here, there are the history of Shinjuku Station. Those are the pictures. Yep, it's 1967, Shinjuku memory. This is 1971, Shin Okubo. Oh, it looks pretty similar to now, huh? And this is the 1960 of Takadanobawa Station. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's totally different. So after passing this gate, cross the corner, and now we are at west part of Shinjuku area. Here, there is a small tiny street called Omoide Yokocho. But, uh, you know, after the pandemic, now it became a really strict filming policy. So yeah, I'm just filming from the outside. Those are all discounted ticket store. Also another discounted ticket store. Discounted ticket store and uh, another discounted ticket store. So if you are looking for a discounted ticket store, this west part of Shinjuku is a place that you want to come. As you see, there are just so many people in Shinjuku. If you are tired of the crowd, but you want to go to the local restaurant, west part of Shinjuku is a place that you want to come. This west part of Shinjuku compared to north part of Shinjuku, much less people. Also, there are many companies around here, so many local restaurants that salary months usually go. As you can see, the town's atmosphere is just different. Those are all the small izakayas, which is cheaper. So if you are tired of the crowd, maybe you can visit around here too. All right, now let's go to the south part of Shinjuku Station. It's almost rush hour time, so this place becomes more and more people. Now we arrive to south part of Shinjuku area. This is my favorite part. There are not that many restaurants and neither the stores, but uh, it's more quiet. By the way, if you are visiting the Shinjuku Express Bus Terminal, Basta Shinjuku, this is the place that you want to come. Sweet, it's always great meeting with you guys. Ready? See the yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sweet, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> Sweet, loving it. If you see me on the street, don't forget to get to me so that I can realize who you are. Don't enter the building and just keep straight. This is the way to go to my favorite square. Here we go. Yes, that's Penguin Square. Let's get something to drink. <laughs> Look at that! Kaninabe soup, zosui. There is porridge with crab hot pot. Interesting, I never tried it. Let's do it! Alright, <laughs> sweet! Oh, by the way, yep, that's the signature of the Penguin Square. Also, we can see the beautiful Light of Dokomo Tower. If you love train, it's a perfect place to watch train. <laughs> you can see the, all the trains from here with beautiful night town. 
Alright, here we go. Let's compile with the interesting drink. Kaninabe Zosui. Wondering if it's good or not. So, come on. Oh, the It has a really nice dashi and crab flavor. I love it. Mm. Well, but I don't taste the rice at all, though. <laughs> Maybe rice in the bottom. I don't know. I should have shake it more. Let me try it. Yeah. This time, I just taste the rice. <laughs> well, it is interesting, but uh, if you want to try this, make sure to shake it before you drink. Otherwise, you will just taste the really soft rice at the bottom. Oh, by the way, rice in Japanese is okome, okome. Or you can say just kome, kome. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the travel station update from Shibuya. Harajuku and Shinjuku. Also, there are other many extra places. In the future video, I will show you guys more different popular cities in Tokyo too. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss my new video and surprise live stream. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. And big thank you to all of my Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account as well. Alright, so hope you enjoy the video. So see you in the next video. See you in the Have a great day. Bye bye. Hmm. Yeah. There is a rice, but it's really soft. So I think without rice, it would be better. The soup itself, it's pretty good. <laughs> but I like it. I really like it. I love this crab hot pot soup. Also, one of my favorite drink in the winter is that the corn potaju, which is the corn soup. Yeah, that's one of my favorite. Anyways, so finally we get back to Tokyo. Ah, recently, suddenly the outside gets much cooler and windy as well. Right now, the temperature is like 13 degrees. But, uh, in December will be cooler and cooler. I guess it will be like 5, 4. Well, in Tokyo, very snow, but uh, many places will start snowing. Probably in Hokkaido, already they start snowing too. I believe so. Anyways, more and more Tokyo videos are coming too, so please look forward to it. See you soon.